Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. Welcome to the show. Here we go. First and foremost, if you would like to call in and ask a question, the call in number is 845 277 9131. If you are watching live on YouTube, which you can do, if you're listening live on one of the apps and you want to pop over to YouTube, and ask a question, you can put it in the YouTube chat and um, I'll be happy to answer that question for you. Okay, uh, please don't get scammed. I don't, I'm not able, I don't even know, like the show airs on so many podcasts and I don't, I'm, I don't even know all of the podcasts and I can't check all the podcast comments. So please, I will never reach out to you. I will never ask you to, you know, to to get a reading or that to get, you have some bad energy on you. That seems to be the latest line they're using. Please don't get scammed. Please, it, it, there's only one way, only one way to get a session with me. That is to go to my website, which is T O N I G dot i n f o it's intentionally info at the end it's not a dot com um it's info and uh book the session through that and then call my business number and get the the session i only do um phone or in-person readings i do not do text or um email readings. So if somebody says, I'll text you the reading, that's a red flag right there. Or email you the reading, that's another red flag right there. So please don't get, don't get, please. You know, we work hard for our money. And even if we don't, it don't, don't get ripped off. Please just don't get ripped off. Okay. I think that's everything I need to say about that. Um, also, if somebody says cash at me, I don't do that. I don't, I don't cash app. No, I don't. Yeah. So there's that. Um, okay. A couple quick announcements. I'm here every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 PM, taking your calls, answering your questions, connecting you to loved ones up above. Uh, both of those times are central time. I'm also doing pop-up shows and healings now. So, or uh, programs. I'm going to be starting a program in um, in a in a I think two weeks. It's the I think I'm going to do the self program, and then maybe something on the side of that, and that will be um, <clears throat> starting in approximately two weeks. And I figured out a way that I can make it extremely affordable for everyone. So please pay attention for those those to come out. It's going to be uh, quite uh, quite nice, I would say. Anyway, um, next, um, if you call, if you would like to call in and ask a question, the call in number is eight four five two seven seven nine one three one. Please make sure you hit the one on your keypad so that your hand raises in the in the um call log so i know that you have a question if you do call in please have a specific question about something a little bit specific in your life um life love career finances um if you want to connect with a loved one on the other side i just need their first name and their relationship to you and then if you have questions or a specific thing you want to discuss with them otherwise i can just give you a general um, i'm going to go between the call log and the questions on the chat so um everybody should i do should i do names today do you guys want me to do names and songs those of you in the chat let me know do you want names and songs or should i just start answering questions i feel like it's going to be a busy day i'm going to go to the first uh 708 what's your name and where are you calling from stephanie in illinois how how can i help you today love hi um i have an i have an aunt she's in in spirit quite quite a while but i had a lot of karma with her 
And I want to know if she is okay with me today. She she wasn't a, a, a blood aunt, but she was my aunt. Um, that she's okay with me today. And, you know, there's like, she, she I think, was upset with me about some things before she passed, maybe after she passed. Her okay. name is Aunt May. Aunt May. Okay, yes. I see, I literally see two women coming forward and it's actually like very, this isn't your Aunt May. I don't think it is because they are dressed very um, Victorian type of dress. Just bear with me here. Whatever this is, I've, and I'm getting goosebumps as I say this. So for those of you who think I'm crazy, it's okay. Um, whatever this was, it started then and has in some way either popped up now or continued since then, The Vic, what we would consider the Victorian time. What I'm going to say to you is um, we're just going to start to clear any remnants or resonances of this. We're going to clear poll, heal this for everyone involved as far back as it goes. So the way I'm gonna do this, anyone listening or watching um, that has, I'm gonna call it blood, bad blood with relatives or family members or uh, whatever it is, we're gonna cl clear, heal, release all of this. Um, any uh, discrepancies or what is that called? Uh, arguments, problems, whatever it is. We're going to clear, heal, release this. All that caused it, all that has kept it all the way back to its root, to its inception and pull that out and release it. And we're going to allow this just to dissolve into the earth and never to return again. The thing here is that as much as this is about you and this particular aunt, it it actually stemmed from quite a bit ago is what I'm getting. Now, I know for some people, they would think that's just crazy, but that's just what I'm getting. Um, and what I'm going to say to you is once we leave our physical body, we, we let go of all earthly things, but we don't want to come back in or have it run further down the line. So we're just gonna pull it all again, just clearing all of that and healing it. Where she is right now and how she is right now, she's okay, she's fine. Um, the, the statement I'm hearing from her is, I, I just don't wanna even talk about this. Um, and not because she's holding a grudge, just because I hear the statement, let bygones be bygones. Okay, so I hope that answers your question, but then also the healing of this, the pulling of all of this is really going to help you let it go on your end. And that's the thing, isn't it? When somebody passes, we're left with the with everything of it. We're the ones left with everything. The, the the bad feelings, the guilt, the whatever it is, whatever, we're the ones who are left thinking about it. They're just fine. They're moving on. They're just fine. They don't, eat, they don't really think about it the same way we do because it's the physicalness of us that makes us think about it that way. But this should help you to heal all of it for everyone involved. Okay, love? Okay, thank you. You are so, so welcome. And please know, she sa she's saying, um, we. Uh, this is what she's saying. We all make mistakes and no one's innocent in this. And we just need to let it go and move on. And I truly, truly hope that that helps you, love. Thank you very much. You're so, so welcome. You are so, so welcome. And... Um, Somebody said they do want me to do names, so I'm just going to do some of the names that I'm hearing. The first name I'm hearing is Judy. The next name I'm hearing is Sinclair. The next name I'm hearing is um, Santiago. The next name I'm hearing is Michelle. The next name I'm hearing is 
I, I can't pronounce it, but I'm going to try. I, I don't know that this is a, it's machista, machista. I don't know what that is or what, it, if it's a, an actual name or what it is, but machista, it might be a nickname. The next name I'm, I'm seeing a brown horse. I'm seeing a brown horse with a, like a darker ma mane, a really brown horse with a darker mane for whatever reason I'm seeing that. So that's something for someone. I'm, I'm hearing Oklahoma, whatever that is for somebody. Um, then the next thing that I'm hearing, I'm not even going to say names anymore. I'm just going to say the next thing I'm hearing. And these are confirmations, names, and or messages to let you know your loved one is with you. The next one is uh, Chester. And then uh, the next one is Meg Magdalene. Magdalene, 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 however that's pronounced, you're going to know better than me. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing things. The next thing is Sanchez. The next one is the next one is there's a lot of M's coming through today. That's all I can say. And I cannot pronounce not one of them. There are some that are coming through that I'm not saying because I just can't even try to pronounce them. And I apologize. Um, okay, we're going to, we're, we're just going to go to, um, oh, okay, the next thing that I am, um, seeing are those daisies any color daisy is a confirmation from your loved one if you're seeing daisies um the next thing again it's a flower tulips 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 um are the next one and again any color and then magnolia i keep hearing magnolia 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 and then the next thing is um those um, bushes, they're, uh, I believe, lilac. Those are one of my favorite bushes. I know they, they only bloom twice a year, but they're so fragrant and it's so beautiful. I love lilac bushes. Um, so that is the next confirmation that I'm getting. And then um, I'm hearing the song Under the Boardwalk, um, that song Under the Boardwalk. And then... Um, the the next thing edgar and then i just hear <laughs> now you could this could be something if you're native american or you know, it could be something else. However, this works for whoever it works for. It, it, you're going to know if this one's meant for you, but I just keep hearing, make it rain, make it rain, <laughs> make it rain. Um, so whomever that is for, I'm hearing uh, Rico. I'm hearing, and then I keep hearing these last names like Sanchez, Santiago. Oh, well, maybe those are first names. I don't know. But whomever this is for, they really are trying so much to get this through for you because they're over, they're they're talking over other people to get theirs through, just so you know. And then I'm hearing, um, okay, then I'm hearing uh, the song, Let's Go All The Way. And Rosanna, that's been for the past couple of shows or weeks. And then I'm going to do two more songs and then I'm going to, I'm going to let it, um, let, I'm going to move on to callers and questions. The next one is that song, Take Me to Church and I'll Worship Like a Dog, uh, that song. And then the next song is um, uh, Anything Prince. 
Anything by Prince. Okay, there we go. Those are the songs. Okay, I did a caller. So now I'm going to go to um, Isabella. And Isabella says, hi, Tony. What's my ex Nick's feelings towards me? Do you see him ever wanting to get back together? Um, you know, the first thing I hear, Isabella, and I know this is going to sound a little bit cruel the way it's coming off, but somebody up there went, gosh, I hope not. Um, what I'm going to say is sometimes, you know, sometimes we just really want to know that they miss us and that they loved us and that they cared about us. And when we're away from somebody, we really miss them and we might feel like we want them back. But until a person changes their patterns and behaviors, it cannot be a healthy, loving situation. And the biggest message I'm getting out of this whole situation, Isabella, is that whatever the beliefs and beliefs aren't only the way you were brought up. It's the beliefs about yourself or his self, beliefs about relationships, beliefs about what, um, how relationships work, if you will. Um, those need to be healed before anything healthy can really progress with the two of you and so here's what I, does he think of you of course you know when you love someone and then you're no longer with them even if you move on even if you're with somebody else um you're gonna think about that person because there was love and you're gonna think about the good you're gonna think about the bad you're of course there's a certain amount of things that we loved and we miss and we want, but then sometimes the the not so good overrides that. But Isabella, the biggest message I'm getting for you to remember is there, as much as we don't want to hear this when we still have love for someone, there's a reason there's a separation. So please uh, consider everything you want in a relationship and remember that and and go get that because we want these things in a relationship because that person is out there okay we're not asking for impossible things and i'm got you guys don't don't get upset about what i'm about to say it's it's half funny half true but there are people out there men and women that want sugar mommy sugar daddies and they find them why? Because that's what they want and they know it exists and they get it, right? And then there are women out there that just say, oh, I just want love and and then they find it. But the thing is, they hold out until that is right in front of them. They don't settle just to have something next to them. They don't settle just because this person is here and then start convincing themselves, well, there must be nothing better out there. All men are, or women are the same. They hold out for what they really want. And in doing that, they will finally get what they want. So please, please take that into consideration and please understand that, Isabella. And I'm sorry for the, for, for everything the two of you have been through. I'm gonna go to the next caller who is 519. 519, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Jennifer calling from Canada. Hey, Jennifer. It's been a minute. How are you? Uh, happy Canada Day. Oh, yes. Happy Canada Day. That's right. That's right. Genevieve was telling me about oh, that this you. morning. Yes. Yes, yes. So how can I help awesome. you, love? Um, it's a weird question. Um, I'm wondering if I'm a really good manifester or I'm just really manipulative. <laughs> well, I'm going to state this in a way. Please listen to the whole sentence. You have to be a very manipulative person to manifest because you need to know how to manipulate energy. 
So, mm, okay. It's a nice way of putting it. So when we are manifesting, there's, I'm good. I, you know, it's so funny because I'm, I'm, I'm about to start running my programs on um, online. I finally figured out all the technical side of it and I'm about to put them on. And one of them is a manifestation. It's a six week manifestation program. And one of the things I, I tell people is for everything you want, it's already, it, 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 the only reason it's in your mind is because it's part of your destiny. Okay. Now, whether you get it from spot A, spot B, or spot Z, it's supposed to be with you. How comfortable you are with taking it or getting it from each of these spots, that might be a problem with guilt or not deserving. But if you're in a situation where someone is, you know, you're the yin and yang of the manifestation and it's an equal give and take, then you're good. Um, so what I would say is, um, is to be, don't worry about what anybody, if you're not thinking about what other people would think, then you're going to be good. But if you're worried about what other people would say or think, that's when all the self-judgment and guilt and everything else comes in. But our personal destiny and what we're bringing into our life should not have anybody else's reality in it. Okay? Um, because haters going to hate. That's it. That's it. That's it. Haters going to hate. And, mm -hmm. and when somebody has a judgment or they feel a certain way about how you're doing or what you're doing, first of all, it's none of their business. Okay. If that's not something they would do, that's not something they would do. But as long as both parties involved are good or three parties or whatever it is, it's good. Now I'm going to give you an example that they're giving me. And it's, if they're giving me this example, then I'm going to give it to you. There are so many grants in the U S and people can t get these grants for business, for homes, for windows, for whatever it is, they can get grants for just about anything in the U S. And if you go and get a grant, nobody's going to have any judgment against you. Nobody's going to think, oh, you're a horrible person for taking this grant, right? But it's money that comes to you for a specific person. So what's the difference other than a person's opinion in if the money comes from source A or source Z? All comes from above and it funnels to us when we're ready to accept it. Now, whether we accept it with guilt or not, that's just up to us. And that's something we have to overcome. So I hope that helps. It does. And you know what it, what it says to me is that um, if someone is willing participate in the manifestation that's their choice too and it's not necessarily mean being manipulative they have free will as well absolutely think about this i'm going to use two different organizations okay i'm going to use the governmental organization and the church organization now churches manifest and governments manifest through donations and churches now manifest through tithing that is mandatory if you are a member of their church. They literally ask you, some churches literally make you come in with your income amounts and tell you how much to donate. But that's how ch churches manifest. They manifest that money in by having their people pay whatever amount and I think that that is interesting, but the same thing with uh, political positions, politicians raise money, they're manifesting money and everybody who donates 
whether it be to a church or a politician or an organization, they're all participating in manifestation on some level. So if you're with someone or working with someone who's participating in your manifestation of their own free will, that's just what it is the, you know, that they, they are, that is it. Now there's a, I'm going to bring this up. People don't be offended by the next thing I'm going to say. Okay. But it's an extreme way of manifesting. There's a such thing called a fin dom, a financial dominatrix. And there are people out there that just, they want to give their money away and fin doms do that. Now, I, I, this is one of the amazing things I learned on TikTok. Would not know about this if it were not for TikTok. <laughs> but, but that, you know, we all manifest and it all comes, everything, every person has a way of receiving their manifestation that's different than someone else. And we can't judge that. We just have to allow people to give and receive in the way they want to give and receive in the comfort level for them. Okay. Thank you, Tony. You put it beautifully. Thank you. You are so welcome. Have an amazing day. And I will. I will go one step further and say, you know, anybody who's not comfortable when they're uncomfortable in participating in that uh manifestation they will remove themselves one way or another they will do it so that's what i have for that i hope that's help helpful excuse me is uh no aaron 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 is not showing up there it is aaron hey tony what do you see regarding my love life any guy coming in aaron uh, yes and no. I hear yes and then I hear no. Uh, so when I hear that, this is what I like to say just to keep it above board. Yes, there is a guy coming in. No, he's probably not your ever after guy or the guy that you're going to want to spend a lot of time with. Or yes, there's a guy coming in. No, you're not going to find him your Jimmy to your jam, if you will. He's not going to be what you are looking for one way or another um this guy is coming in during july august is he coming in in july no august yes he's going to be coming in in the month of august but you might feel like well i can just you know kind of you know spend some time with him until somebody else comes along don't do that don't do that we wouldn't want someone to do that to us. We don't do that to them. Um, even as a friend, because this guy's really going to be um, catching your groove, if you will. Where in the world do these statements come from? He's really going to be into you. Um, and if you're not, if it's not equally yoked, let it, let him go find someone that that will be equally yoked to him or want that with him. Um, after the guy in August, which if you try to play with this scenario, it will end in disaster is what I'm hearing. Um, then in September, somebody better's coming in. The person in September, and here's the other thing two things here sometimes when we play with somebody on the playground of earth that you know we're just entertaining ourselves keeping ourselves busy until the right one comes we miss the right one because we might be out with what's keeping us preoccupied and the right one could be there and then we miss it and i'm going to tell you something the right one the guy with the character and the ethics that you want is not going to approach you when you're with another guy or girl, if it's turned around, um, to, because out of respect, out of respect, they won't, they won't do that. What I can tell you, Erin, is in September, you have the potential to meet someone that is 
above board for you and a, a quite a good match and someone who's going to have a lot of mm -hmm. character and and be very upstanding these are the terms i'm getting for you so please um in september be out and about and i see it uh, I see you eating, and again, it goes back to having dinner out. Go with your female friends um, a lot in September. Go out and about, do some dinners, do some, so just be out talking over, you know, whatever. I feel like in September, the potential to meet somebody is is very very strong for you and it's somebody of significance for you okay Erin I hope that's helpful I'm going to go to the next caller who is uh 415 415 what's your name and where are you calling from hi this is Jessica Pennsylvania hey Jessica how um, can I help you I wanted to know Thank you. Um, I wanted to know what you see with my love life um, as well. I need to, I needed to just say goodbye to somebody. So I'm kind of upset about it. Okay. Um, and the first thing I heard before you even said that is she needs to heal. So uh, I'm going to do for you and everybody listening, watching, re-listening, re-watching. We're going to heal all the hurt, pain, all from past situations let's clear heal release anything that needs to be oh, healed cleared release and you can come back and listen to these at any time plus i have so many healings on TikTok that are for this nature and other nature also so please go listen to those um i i feel like someone's gonna come in in september near the end of october into november and this is because you might feel like you know that actually that's not very far off first of all second of all it's giving you time to to really what they're saying to me is and i'm gonna put this a little bit bluntly because that's the way they're putting it to me refigure out who you are again not who you are with a partner like going where they want what they want to, you know figure out really who you are what you want and what you like again if you were calling the shots like what like take it this like to this extent what restaurants do you really like what food do you really like but then again what places if you are single where would you want to go what would you want to do where would you want to be how would you spend your spare time if there's not a partner involved if you're not a go along to get along person and this is really important otherwise you're going to end up like and i don't this this should not offend us but it's it sounds offensive the way i'm saying it we end up being the person that just goes and does what everybody else wants to do, whether it be our friends or a partner, and then we're not really living our truth. And until we live our truth and we're doing the things we want, relationships cannot work out because we're on a path too. It needs to be equal of what both people want to do. So between now and like mid-October, really hone in on, what is your favorite music? All of it, none of it. What is, you know, what do you want? Make plans for your trips of what you want in your goals, in your future. Like, it, you know, what would you really want to do? And then hold on to that, okay? And then find somebody, not who wants to do it because you're, you want to do it, but they really want those things too, okay, love? And that's what I have for you mid-october into november is your biggest potential time for you meeting somebody and if i'm being honest i see november 
second, third, and fourth being very strong for you being out there and potentially meeting a lot of people, but also meeting someone of significance in your life, okay? Whew. Okay, thank you. You're so welcome. And I hope yeah, that yeah. you um, pay attention to what they said and 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 really, really dive deep into that, okay, love? Yeah, it's weird. I've been single for a long time, so it's strange that that's coming up. Uh, you know, like really zoning on my stuff. Have like you? it's like it's sort of like I lost myself, then have to refine myself. Yeah. Yes, and you know what? I'm gonna say this to you also, and for each and every one of us, even if we've been single for a while, we might just be following a pattern and not really getting into what do I really want. Where do I really want to live? What places do I really want to visit? If I'm going out, do I really love the five-star restaurants or am I good at this type of place? Or do I, you know, you know, is it a balance of them? Do I really like to go to this type of place to do this or that? You know, um, is, you know, some people, they're like every chance they get, they're going to back to Vegas or New Orleans. And, you know, are you that type of person that just wants to keep going back to the same old places over and over again? Or are you the type of person that wants to find new places and do new things and go to new uh, explorations? Realize that about yourself and then you would be amazed at what comes in. Sometimes we're kind of on autopilot and we need to shake it up a little bit on our own without another person. Okay, love? Yeah, thank you. You are so, so welcome. If you would like to call in, the call in number is 845-277-9131. Uh, you can ask a question, connect with a loved one on the other side. Um, remember, if you call in to hit the one on the keypad that raises the hand and lets me know that you have a question, and then I can um, take your your number. Hey, Fawn, how are you? Mariah has a question, I think. Hi, Tony. Um, will this ever get better? Is this the end regarding my love life? Um... Well, Ma Mariah, I'm going to say this. Um, it, it, the end comes when we've had enough, when we realize, how do I say this? We either accept how this person is and this is our life and the way the rest of our life is going to be or we realize I don't want this and I deserve better and I'm going to go for it. Um, I'm trying to be super, super delicate in the way I say this because the person, you know, the spirit is putting this quite bluntly for you, Mariah. Very, very bluntly. They're saying it should be the end. Um, lesson learned time to move on. Um, I, I'm hearing the song, don't get fooled again, like that song. I can't even hear any other words to it except for don't get fooled. Or, oh, it goes, we won't be fooled again. But they're, they change the words to don't get fooled again. Um, you know, it, I never thought I would be the person to say this, but sometimes love is not enough. We can love somebody so deeply and so unconditionally that it's to our own detriment. And the other person, maybe they love us, in the way they're capable of love, but they may also know 
that our love allows them to pull a lot of effing shenanigans and get away with a lot of stuff. They know they can act a fool and go play and come back and just be, you know, be who they're going to be. And sometimes our loved ones on the other side or angels or whomever you want to, they're putting this in our face to show us so that we can be with somebody who is respectful of us or just be on our own for a little bit and then find somebody who, who will step up and be a better person in our life. Someone who will step up and be the person that um, we hoped this person could be. Um, and why we feel, why some people feel like they have to win love or they have to, you know, put, keep giving someone another chance and another chance and another chance because love doesn't say that. Love doesn't say put up with. If this was someone you were not intimate with, you would not put up with it. And if your if your daughter or your sister or somebody you truly love came to you and told you this is what's going on, you would say, what the heck are you thinking? This is not, this is not fair or love or whatever words you would use, Mariah. Is it Mariah or Maria? Maria? Mariah, whatever. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. What I'm going to say is it's in your best interest for your self esteem, self respect, for your heart to let go. And if and when, when this person comes back to just completely have everything blocked so you don't even know this person is trying to reach out again, so you don't have that maybe they changed while well, they're coming back so they must love me they must want me going on in your head see i knew they cared because they're coming back is that why they're coming back or because they know they can because somebody who loves you how do i say this um never if you wouldn't do it to someone, don't let them do it to you. You deserve the same level of love you are putting out. Love is not sacrificing. Love is not sacrificing parts of your heart and your soul through trauma and fights and arguments and breakups and no communication literally are traumatic to the brain, the heart, the body. It is that being ignored or abandoned or ghosted or whatever term we want to put on it and breadcrumbs or not treated correctly causes trauma in our in in our in our in our brain, in our body, in our mind. And what we, and this has been proven, this has been proven scientifically. Okay, this, this is not just me on my soapbox. And nobody deserves that, no, nobody deserves that. So when somebody is mistreating us, misusing us, we have a responsibility to ourselves because nobody's gonna come in and save us from somebody else, they can't. They can't because so many people have already told you, you know, maybe this isn't the best situation. We have to believe we deserve better, that, that this isn't it, that this isn't the only thing. Otherwise, we will keep dealing with it. So I'm going to do a clearing and a healing on um, self on just knowing what we deserve, just we know what we deserve. I'm going to clear, heal, release anything stopping or blocking that, anything in the way of it. Um, 
and to know what abuse is because it's not just because the physical abuse isn't the only abuse sometimes emotional abuse is just as traumatic and just as damning as physical abuse emotional and psychological abuse can be sometimes it, it so let's just heal clear release all abuse all it's caused all it's kept and why we are putting up with it let's heal clear release that all the cycles all the programs where this started we're going to pull it all out we're going to clear this heal it release it all the beliefs all the programs all of it we're going to pull it now and we are going to heal all of it and you know i'm i'm not here to tell anybody what to do and what not to do because i've been in situations with friends well so-called friends family members and um partners where looking back i can see the level of disrespect was just <laughs> so ridiculous but i really love them and I, these are people I would have done anything for, anything for them. And the level of disrespect from them to me, and if I told people the stories, they would, and I have told a couple of my friends some of the experiences, and they are like, like it's, it's a little bit shocking. But when we're going through it, we want to be loyal to a fault. We want to give somebody every opportunity because that's our level of love and that is what we're willing to do for that specific love but there comes a point when we have to sit down and we literally have to look in the mirror and say i'm gonna start treating you the way i would want to uh I would want the person I love the most to be treated. And I'm not going to let you put up with anything that I would not want the person I love the most to put up with. And we have to stand on that. And we cannot let anyone change that. We have to be able to have that thing for ourselves that we that protection for ourselves, we have to be able to protect ourselves from from the fights, from the arguments, from the the ghosting, from the breadcrumbing, from the whatever it is. As much as we would protect a baby or our pet, we would never let anybody abuse a puppy or a kitten. So, if that's what you have to do to keep yourself on a level where you're not going through this please do that please and and don't let uh but i miss you uh but 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 don't let a but and by but i mean earth get you twisted again Th this is not when we have that in and out when we have that you know, sometimes people are addicted to the game and it makes us, we don't even know there's a game going on or maybe we do and we have this wit thing we want to win, but we need to cut that. We need to want healthy stability and security more than we want whatever that feeling, that momentary feeling is. Okay, so please, Please, please consider that, my sweet girl. Please consider that. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller. I don't remember where I was. Maybe 415 is next. We're about to find out. 415, what's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, you just took my call. Oh, my thank gosh. You. Thank, you so, thank you so much for being honest. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 574. 574, what's your name and where are you calling from? Diana, Indiana. Hey, hey Diana, how can I help you today? Okay. 
I talked to you the other day, but you got to the end of time. Uh, could it's about my husband? He's on the other side. Could you please tell me what he felt and was thinking when he died, when he lost his life? Okay, I'm not. I, what's your husband's name, love? Willie. Willie, thank you so much, love. Thank you. I'm just going to um, put you on mute while I do this, so please don't be offended by that. Um, I know I gave you, I, it's coming back to me now. Um, I did give you quite a bit of information. I'm not sure how you mean that question, what he was feeling when he died. What you know, I know last time I spent a bit of time with you on the call and I'm just going to tap into him just for a second and I'm going to ask him, you know, when he died, his, and I want you to know, I've had three near-death experiences and that part of when we first die is very short. And then we start ascending into the space that is love and light. But his immediate response was sorrow and remorse is what I'm getting, sweetie. And there is a very short period where we have that instantaneous thing. When we get to the, as we ascend and we see people as we go up, we have no, it's, you know, the flesh feels, the flesh feels, the soul celebrates. The flesh feels anger and, uh, you know, pain and, you know, jealousy. Now, when we get to the other side, all the way up, we look at everything that happened, but we can also see why everything happened the way it did. So it's more of a, we can see like if we did something we, on this side, there's judgment for, and we maybe shouldn't have done. On the other side, we understand how and why that all happened. Um, but his immediate sense when he first died was sorrow and remorse. And then, you know, as he pulled into the light, I hope he it, that changed. And I really, really hope that helps you, love. I really do. Um, hey, Karen. Hey, sleep. Uh, Rebecca. Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Um, so nice. I'm going to go to Shannon's question. Shannon seems new. Shannon, welcome to the show. You look beautiful today. Well, thank you so much. Um, question. Careers are made by who you know. I feel like I'm going in circles with no doors opening. Who do I need to network with to open the door? I think I had this question last week. It seems very, very familiar. Um, Shannon, don't deep, this, I'm going to tell you what I'm hearing and you can decide from there what you want to do with it. You open your doors. Yes. In some cases you need to know people, but that's for a specific, like, I, I want to explain this correctly. Um, Networking will get you so far, but sometimes we may not know anyone at the place we're going to. I know people who live in one state and I have clients that live in one state and they want to relocate to a completely different state and start their career in that state or continue their career in that state. They've not networked in that state. They've not, and they get right in, right in. Now, Shannon, I am going to do this for you, everybody watching, listening, re-watching, re-listening. You're stuck. I get a yes. We're going to clear, heal anything and everything that is stopping or blocking you or keeping you stuck. We're going to pull that. Now, Shannon, this belief that other people are responsible for where you end up, you have to let that go. Yes, networking is good, but I'm going to tell you 
entrepreneurs who start on their own, they get out there and they get their word out. They're on, they're doing it. Like Rude Rangers, Rudy from Rude Rangers, he just stepped up and started doing, he had a vision and he followed the vision, not the people. He started um, a streaming channel. He has a radio station and he just started doing it. it it's almost like that. If you build it, they will come. You don't always have to go to people. You have to have your vision so strong that and then people will come to to you now if you're in the financial market let's just say if you're doing good people are going to come to you and you have to get out there and sometimes you have to be the one that everybody networks to getting it on social media getting it on whatever is prevalent for your area so please understand that the message I'm getting for you is the door you need to open is your own door to let people in, not necessarily being part of a flock, but being the, the lead thing that people come to. Start creating your thing is what I'm getting for you, Shannon. And I hope that that makes sense to you. I hope that that can help you um, get into a space that helps you understand what's next for you. I want to remind everybody I'm here every Wednesday at noon, every, no, every Monday at noon, every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those times are central. I spend an hour answering questions and helping you connect to loved ones on the other side. And if I don't get to you today, please come back on Wednesday. I will be back on Wednesday. I also do pop-up shows. So if you are following me, um, or subscribed, you will know when the pop-up shows come. And I also do um, healings uh, um, and other things. So if you're also, if you're following me, you'll know about that. If you go to my website and you um, sign up for the email, you'll know when everything is coming out also. Okay. Uh, Okay, my name is Christopher Wan. Could you tell me if my wife is cheating? Her father, Junior, who has passed my connect. Oh, uh, but, uh, Christopher, here's what I'm going to say. I don't do that type of thing because energies can be real, real tricky. I could pick up that there's a third party, but it could be her sister. Is she... Okay, Christopher, when I ask, is she having sex with someone else? I instantly get a no. I, I Now, you know, if you feel like she, there's an outside influence, figure out why you feel that way. Okay, love? I think that that's really important. Uh, 90 seconds. Okay, I have 90 seconds left, you guys. Please come back. Oh, there's so many people that still have questions. It gives me, it literally, I want to be able to answer answer for everybody. And I'm sorry that I can't today. Here's what I'm going to tell you. I will be back Wednesday at um, 7 p.m. Central. Please bring your questions and your calls back. And remember, I, I, I'm on 15 minutes before showtime answering questions in the chat. 60 seconds. And the people who get through on the phone, are usually the people who are waiting 15 minutes before the show starts. So if I did not get to you today, please come back Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central or Monday at noon Central. Or if it's very, very important and you have a lot of questions, you can schedule a private session. I do private sessions. Go to my website. I'll be happy to give you, um, you can find out all the information and we can go from there. Until then, have an absolutely amazing rest of the day. Thank you so much. <music>